Hello, and welcome to another Starbase Summary, October 14th to the 18th. This is SpaceX Boca Chica, and you can change the audio commentary down there, right below the timeline. What's going on here? Pad 1 CO2 vented. I mean, yeah, I guess it's kind of true. They're going to be doing some reconfiguring on Pad 1, so it's kind of like, well, I ain't going to need that anymore. <laughs> I do always love the R2-D2 looking tank. Neat. We got the CFA driller in the background there. Pad 1 booster QD venting. All Pad 1 systems are being cleared out. That's right. Because, again, Pad 1 is going to be reconfigured into a more Pad 2-like state. I do wonder if it's going to end up being more like Pad 2, or if it'll be like a 2.5 or version 3. Here we go, Pad 2. Flex hose installed in Pad 2 locks QD. So there's two QDs on this new pad design versus one QD on this old pad design. Looks like they put in a new flex hose. Pad 1's chopsticks raised. You don't say. Neat. I wonder why they're doing that. Man, I really am going to miss the old uh, orbital launch mount there. It's just, it's a cool look. It's like the tripod at McGregor. I'm, I'm definitely going to miss that. Ship 39 moved around Mega Bay 2. Gotta say, Ship 39 is looking good. I am so excited to see the first version 3 ship and booster fly, and it seems like that's going to be ship 39 on the ship side. <laughs> I love the giant crane just like resting in the back. Shh, it's sleeping. Don't wake it up. <laughs> oh no, we woke it up. <laughs> the LR 1300 crane raised. Nice, so that's going to be what they use to assemble those other tower cranes, I think. Locks P BQD retract test in real time. All right, watch the carriage there. Yoink. Neat. 10x speed here. A little bit hard to see, but good to see them testing out Pad 2 systems. And good to see them assembling the tower cranes that they're going to use to assemble the Gigabay. Neat. It's one of those things that I'm I'm stoked that we get to learn by being rocket nerds is we also get to learn a lot of crane stuff. So if you know about tower cranes, put it in the comments because I know a little bit about crawler cranes only by virtue of again, Starbase. But I I know basically nothing about tower cranes, so I'm I'm ready and willing to learn. Cornell Co. Inc. contractors. Maybe I should call them. It's a good looking paint job. It's a good looking crane. And nice lighting, too. More parts standing by on, I guess, on, on standby? <laughs> standing by to be assembled onto the uh, their respective cranes there. Nice little bit of scale. You can see the ladder. It's like this is, is it upside down right now? But yeah, that, that cylinder right there is a ladder. So it gives you a human sense of scale for that piece of the crane. Gigabay prep work. Got to smooth out that concrete. Look, you can see one of those right-on concrete smoothers right there. Oh, and, and then that guy's doing the handheld concrete smoothing. Oh, I love it. If you're an OG tank watcher, you know all about the concrete smoothing videos. There was a time where we had many minutes of concrete smoothing uh, in many videos because there was a lot of it. And look at this once again. Building, yeah, drink that water. Building a giant gigabay foundation. Turns out you need to smooth a lot of concrete. Ship 39 in Mega Bay 2. Looking clean. What is that green flashing box? Is Hal 9000 upset or is he pleased? Well, it's green. I, th I guess he's pleased. You can see the cutout for the payload bay door there. There's, there's always like those supports, I, I presume because of the cutout. It's not like a new payload bay exterior strut or something. No, th they take those off. Oh no, I didn't read the label. But it looks like they're installing some cladding on pad 2. Continuing to outfit this pad. We saw the retract tests a little while ago. And now they're putting some more shielding on there. Hey, pad 2 shielding install. I got it right. <laughs> oh man, imagine being that crane operator with like 10 guys plus live stream cameras all watching you. And one guy's like, no, 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 down. And one guy's like, no, 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 left. And the other guy's like, no, 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 up. And you're like, oh, jeez. 
Oh, it's still not on yet. It's just sitting there. Wait, pad 2, locks, booster, QD. Yep, that's it. It's going to be a little bit sad when all of this is buttoned up. I assume there's going to be more shielding installed there. Pad 2's trench walls. Nice. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, remember when we thought this mount might be mobile? Or, like, interchangeable or replaceable? B18.1 and B18.3 test tanks at the old Massey test site. Looking good in some golden hour lighting. Hear a little bit of voices in the ambient track there. No worries. Looks like we got a worker up on a lift on 18.3. Now, 18.3 is on its own nice sunset, on its own test stand, next to 18.1, which is on the can crusher. Aw, are those birds in the river? Orbital pad 2, looking good at night, looking very Blade Runner. I'm into it. Heck yeah. Again, so excited to see version 3 come online, so excited to see that pad come online, and we got some more tank farm delivery goodness from Caesar with his nice fast lens. You can tell it's a fast lens because the depth of field is so shallow. Don't worry, that's normal. I think it's part of the procedure when they're done doing their offload. It seems like they vent everything out of the tanks before driving away. Really just love Starbase at night. Oh, the sounds of the truck. There is an ambient track. You can switch the audio. There's also Dutch and Spanish. And at some point we'll get Adrian back and have him do German as well. But yeah, you can you can switch around the, the audio track. And if you want ambient, you don't want to hear my voice or anybody's voice, you can go to the Klingon track. There really is. Like, Starbase at night, when it's quiet and it's not launch time, there's a, sep there's a whole separate vibe to it. Hey, look. It's video of the production site I shot today. Ship 39 still hanging out in Mega Bay 2. Tower cranes, giving us some nice foreground elements along with that barricade fence. A lot of wind out today. Give me a break. This is at 500 millimeters. Come on now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see Ship 39 fly. Hey, look, there's new clamps on a workstation, which is why I was at 500 millimeters in the wind. Because we're trying to get a good look at the upgrades they're doing inside Mega Bay 2 for the tooling and all of the necessary hardware changes. Because version 3 ship is quite different. Hey, it's the old HLS cone. Moon cone 2, electric boogaloo. Oh no, what if that's the title of the episode? I don't often point my camera at this thing just because it's like nothing really changes. But we had some nice foreground from the Gigabay construction in there. We had the ring wall off to the side. We had some nice lighting in the clouds. Uh, and I'm just curious, what's going on with that thing? Like, I want more moon updates from SpaceX. Hey, I also don't ever really do this. It's a shot of... Uh, the production site from the launch site and I included my Land Rover because I love my Land Rover and I thought it was a cool shot sun going down it was a really nice sunset today absolutely gorgeous one speaking of a gorgeous sunset booster 17 and booster 12 hanging out in Venus's belt the belt of Venus I think that's what that is either way it's post sunset twilight hours you know sunset doesn't end when the sun goes down uh, well, that's really a dumb statement. The point is, is a lot of times I see people leave when the sun goes down. No, 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 no. The lighting continues to get better sometimes. You never know. Hey, here's a pan of the Gigabay. I didn't really mess with the exposure or anything. I just sort of wanted to give you a sense of where the camera was while shooting these particular images. Test tank possibly on the right or left. Oh, no, I didn't read it. Oh, no. Uh, but yeah, some hardware in there in the Star Factory. Ship 40's nose cone, hanging out in scaffolding, also looking really good. I mean, they're adding more and more TPS onto it, and it's just looking fabulous. Ship 41's nose cone, decked out with pins. I thought I saw the welding robot doing its thing, uh, but alas, it was not. Did that scaffolding just move? What on earth? But yeah. The, the pins you can see there are installed so that they can slap the thermal protection tiles on there. Ship 42 and Ship 43's nose cones. You can see 42 has pins, 43 does not. And there is sort of a wider shot 
a little bit further down from that pan I did earlier. I walked. Um, but yeah, there's a wide shot showing you all the nose cones that you can see in, I think, what was that, 24 millimeters? There you go. That was it. Thank you to Thomas for editing. Thank you to Caesar for shooting and myself and Starbase Live and all the Starbase Live Ops and producer Kevin Michael Reed. All right. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.